students assalamu alaikum today i am going to start my seventh lecture on the topic gibal uh, message to youth okay this is unit number two of your textbook but before going to start this lesson you should know about the objectives that uh, you have to attain at the completion of this lesson uh, in general objectives we have theme and main idea which refers to the message okay that it conveys uh, to you in order to incorporate that message in your daily life and uh, specific objective refers to MCQs, vocabulary, translation and short questions uh, it means that you should be able at the end of this lesson uh, to, to write your MCQs and to uh, know about the vocabulary which is used in this text translation and short questions uh, in your exercise now uh, let's discuss the sketch or the brief summary of this lesson so in the first paragraph we are told about Iqbal that Iqbal uh, is not only a poet he was also a religious uh, scholar and philosopher and uh, it is his intellectual genius that uh, influence his contemporary people and apart from that uh, his uh, Islamic philosophy also influenced the people and tradition of 21st century okay uh, in the rest of the paragraphs we are told about Iqbal view of a uh, Muslim youth so according to Iqbal youth is the standard bearer which means that uh, he would lead his nation his country uh, from the front in order to glorify his nation and secondly he says that uh, uh, Youth is a Mardi Momin, Mujahid, explorer and uh, uh, adventurer. And uh, at the same time he says that uh, uh, the youth of Iqbal is just like a Shaheen which flies higher and deeper. When he says explorer he means to say that he, he should explore new worlds, new realms of knowledge and consciousness through his foresight and knowledge. Okay. And uh, further he says that uh, uh, he can means the uh, youth of Iqbal can bring a sea change in society now you see here Iqbal says that uh, a youth can bring a sea change in social political and uh, spiritual fabric of the society provided his energy is uh, uh, properly channelized okay now uh, further we are told about uh, Iqbal's youth that uh, he has the spirit of Ishq and what is Ishq? Ishq is basically here refers to the perennial, the continuous effort uh, to explore uh, new stars of knowledge or uh, to go beyond those stars which he has created, he has explored through his foresight or his uh, knowledge. Okay, then we are told about uh, uh, the youth of Iqbal that uh, he is a man of Hudi. Hudi is basically, uh, it refers to uh, a kind of spirit. He says that uh, if the youth uh, is going to understand himself, then uh, he can just achieve success very easily. He says that uh, uh, know thyself and success huh, shall be yours. Okay. Then uh, we are told about uh, Iqbal Yu that uh, he possesses creative energy. Uh, he means to say that he will create uh, from its own self and uh, that creativity uh, will just uh, exalt him to the zenith of sky. Okay. And uh, then pursue spiritual and intellectual goal then uh, material gain. Here he refers to uh, the real goal, the real purpose of a uh, uh, the youth he means to say that uh, the youth should not only make efforts for uh, achieving uh, material gains rather he should work for uh, spiritual and intellectual goals in order to make their own uh, recognition uh, in order to get individuality and originality okay this is the sketch of this lesson now let's translate first paragraph of uh, the same lesson Okay, Iqbal is one of the most outstanding poet and philosopher of the 
Indian subcontinent. Outstanding means Nomaya Azim. Philosopher means Falsafi. In Iqbal, but it's a real Hindustan ke subse Azim. Shairo me se or Falsafi o me se ek te. Subcontinent, okay? He means Barisari Hindustan. His intellectual uskifikri genius, Zahanat. His intellectual genius has a reign. Reign means makam hasil karna. Supreme ala. In the area of a Islamic philosophy. Islamic falsafa. Yeni uski kya fikri jo zahanat hai. Usne Islamic falsafe me. Both ala mukam hasil kiata during the 20th century, Bisvi Sadi me, and will direct or kya rehnumai karega. Direct means rehnumai karna and influence or asar karega, mutasir karega. The Islamic intellectual traditions, Islami jo kya hai intellectual fikri traditions means rewayat, jo Islami fikri. Rewayat hai in the 21st century, 21st sadi mein as well. Yani usk pe bhi wo asar karega aur uski bhi rehnumai karega. Yani iska pura kya matlab hua ke ek baal ki jo fikri zahanat hai, usko kya bhot ala mukam hasil hai. Kis cheez mein? Islami falsafe mein. Jo na sirf 20th yani 21st sadi ke logon ko kya ki rehnumai karega, balki ha? یعنی بیس فی صدی کی صرف دے بلکہ اکیس فی صدی کے جو روایات ہے ٹھیک ہے اس کی بھی وہ رہنمائی کرے گا ہز سبلائم پویٹری اس کی جو عظیم آلہ شائری ہے اور فلوسفی اور فلسفہ ہے انسپائرڈ میلینز میلینز آف مسلم انسپائرڈ میل جذبہ پیدا کرنا یعنی لاکھ کو مسلمانوں نے میں اس نے جذبہ پیدا کیا تو ویک to wake up, ki wo bedar ho jaye. To wake up to the reality of a time. Yini wak ke takaze ke mutabik ta ki wo bedar ho jaye. Reality of time means wak ke wak ka takaza. Wake up means bedar ho na. Yini usne logo mein jazba peda kiya ta ki wo wak ki ke takaze ke mutabik bedar ho jaye. And forge or banaye a destiny. Takdeer apni banaye. Destiny means takdeer. For themselves apne liye. Taki wo apne liye apne takdeer khudi banaye. He was much aware. Oh bilkul puri tara aga ta. Aware means aga hona, bahabar hona. Of the fact is hakikat se. That if youth. Ki agar no jawanon ko. Of the umma. Ummati muslim aga. Agar ummati muslim aga. Ke muslima. No jawanon ko. Kya kiya jaye? Head structures their destiny. اگر وہ اپنی قسمت کو اپنے تقدیر کو سوارتے یعنی وہ اس بات سے باہورتے کہ امت مسلمہ کے نوجوان اگر اپنے تقدیر کو سوارتے سٹرکچر میں سوارنا دیسٹر میں تقدیر then they could have let muslims of subcontinent out of the pit of subjugation let means رہنمائی کرنا نکالنا let out means نکالنا pit of subjugation غلامی کی قید وہ کہتے ہیں کہ اگر جو مسلمان ہیں بری سعیر کے اگر وہ اپنے تقدیر کو سوارتے تو وہ کیا وہ بری سعیر کے مسلمانوں کو نکالتے کس چیز سے غلامی کی کیس سے پیٹ آف سرجوگیشن غلامی کی کیس سے اس کو نکالتے ارلیر بہت پہلے دین دے ڈیٹ جس طرح انہوں نے کیا یعنی اگر بری سعیر کے جو کیا ہے نوجوان ہے وہ اپنے تقدیر کو بناتے تو وہ برے صحیر کے مسلمانوں کو بہت پہلے غلامی کی کیسے نکال لیتے اوکے ناو وی ویل ڈسکس ایجیکٹیو ان دی سیم ٹیکس پریویسلی وی ہیو ڈن ڈیفرن پارٹس او سپیچ بس ٹوڈے سپیسیفکلی وی ویل ڈسکس میز ایجیکٹیوز ان دی فرس سنٹیز اکزبال اس ون او دی موس آؤٹسٹیننگ ناو یو سی آؤٹسٹیننگ اس بیسیکلی این adjective because it tells us about noun Iqbal so this is adjective poet and philosopher the Indian subcontinent now Indian is also this is an adjective 
this is made of the word India and India is proper now. So we call it a proper adjective Indian, Pakistani, French. So these are the adjective which are made of a proper noun. So we call it proper adjective. So Indian tells us about subcontinent which is noun. So this also adjective is intellectual genius. Intellectual once again this is a adjective because it tells us about the word genius and genius here works as a noun. So this is also an adjective. Genius has reigned supreme in the area of Islamic philosophy during the 20th century. Now we see 20th also tells us about this noun century. So 20th is also an adjective and will direct and influence the Islamic. Now you see Islamic tells us about a tradition. So in Islamic is also adjective because it is about the word tradition which is noun and intellectual. This is also an ad adjective because it tells us about the noun tradition. So this is also an adjective. In the 20th century as well, his, his sublime poetry and philosophy inspired millions of people, millions of Muslims to wake up to the reality of life, of time and forge a destiny for themselves. He was much aware. Now you see here the word aware is also an adjective because it tells us about pronoun he. So any word which tells us about noun or pronoun, we call it adjective. Of the fact that if youth of the Uma had structured their destiny, then they could have let Muslim or subcontinent out of the pit of subjugation earlier than they did. So we have these adjectives that we have discussed in this text. Okay, I hope that you have understood adjectives and uh, apart from that we have uh, done translation, sketch and objectives. So I hope that you have understood it thoroughly and uh, properly. Thank you and have a nice day ahead.